everyone i hope you are safe and doing good so in the series of learning c++ programming language in the previous video we have seen what is vector of pairs right i hope that is clear to you guys because based on that only we will be discussing one coding exercise in this video right it's not tough simple one what is this exercise let's see you are given a vector of size n which holds pair of integer pair of integers right now you have to calculate sum of the second element of these pairs second element of these pairs that right? means 2 plus 10 plus minus 4 you have to calculate this thing right i hope you are getting the problem statement right and it's not tough you have to just access the second element of the pairs within this vector right i hope you can do this now you have to pause the video and try this out so let's create a new file and we are going to solve this now so now first take the vector which is given vector of pair not vector it's vector of pair having integer value both integer value right okay now let's suppose we have vector v and the values given are first is 1 2 right so how to access second element from these pairs so obviously we have to trace the vector first first element of the vector is 1 2 this is first element having a pair means pair means two values this is second element of vector means v of 0 at 0th index we have this pair at one index we have this pair at second index we have this pair every index we are having two values because we have a pair right okay now with the help of for loop let's trace this one first first element then second element of vector then third element of vector if we got the first element of the vector like one two pair then within that we can access this two dot second keyword we have right dot first and dot second this is how we are going to access elements of a pair right so here let's take first obviously we will take a variable sum in which we are going to store the sum and let's initialize it with zero so that it will not take any garbage value simply we take a variable this is what you can say traditional way of using for loop like a variable initialize it with zero and this i would be less than till vector size so we have a function here in vector dot size to calculate the size automatically it will create, uh, calculate the size then plus plus i or i plus plus and within this you have to do what you have to access now from v of i from v of i now v of 0 means this first element but you have to access only 2 so v of i dot second because 1 2 is pair first first element of pair is 1 second element is 2 so dot second i want to access right so the, the second element of all the pairs and just add this to into sum so sum equal to sum plus v of i dot second I hope you got why I have written this line or we can simply write down if you use that shorthand operator then sum plus equal to v of i dot second right I hope it works okay first obviously you have to now print that sum so let's print simply sum and returns you okay let's run this and see what output you are getting now 8 so see 10 plus 2 12 minus 4 it's 8 right okay it's working fine if you don't use this kind of loop we can use that range based for loop also all right for that what we will do that is i guess very simple just write down this auto keyword auto and any variable name suppose i'm taking element and from which range which container i am going to take the elements from v from this vector v right so it means from vector v one by one all the elements would be stored in this variable so first this one two this pair would be stored in this element i mean in this variable variable name is element or we can take n any small name we can take n in this variable n one two from this n i want to access second element of the pair because this one two is pair because first element of the vector is pair second element is also a pair obviously it is vector of pairs right so
so this time what you can do sum is equal to sum plus now from this n you have to access now in n we have this pair 1 2 so n dot second and semicolon right you know you know no need to worry about the size and all like this so i like this loop in this you know range based for loop so let's print sum and uh, let's run this and see we're getting same output or not yeah we're getting eight right i hope you've done this exercise right it's not so much tough so try out different different exercises on the vectors pairs and vector of pairs right in the next video we will see most probably nesting of vectors like array of vectors and vector of vectors what is the difference between these two things because these are very confusing array of vectors and vector of vectors so this thing we'll be discussing in next video right you please try out different different exercises based on whatever topic we are going we are covering in this syllabus uh, in this course because for me it's not possible to you know uh, cover all the or you know uh, discuss all the exercises on all the topics one or two exercises i can discuss but i'll i'm i'm you know trying to cover all the you know that concept or theory part in detail right but for now i guess that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care